Welcome to our Sunday special. Concerns have been raised on how poor maintenance of key safety infrastructure at the airports may have led to recent serious air incidents. Senior Cup reporter Ayo Media JB X rays infrastructure in and around the local and international airports in Lagos. This is the road leading to the international airport in Lagos. Aside the fact that the road is in a terrible state, it is like ad labor if you are driving and it's raining. You might even be at risk of missing your flight if you are caught up in traffic occasioned by bad road when it rains. At the local wing of the Murtala Mohammed Airport, precisely the MMA2, which has been privatized and been handled by the Bicotney Vision Services. Personnel management seems to be in order, but infrastructure in and around the terminal poses more questions than answers. The federal government still manages the facilities at this airport, and it is weird to see that there are so many cracked ceilings, exposed wires at strategic points, and faulty cooling system. The managing director of FAN admits that the airport is in a sorry state and there is need for a massive overhauling of facilities across the country. For us, it's not just infrastructure upgrades, but infrastructure modernization. So it means that we need to put infrastructure that is fit for purpose. Um, we're looking at a lot of upgrades at some of our primary airports, so I would say our major airports, Lagos, Abuja, Potako, Kanu, and Enugu. Um, the terminal side is critical for Lagos specifically. We're looking to make minor quick rehabilitations um, to make it bearable, so things like the cooling systems, um, things like the lightning, to improve the customer experience. Aside facilities around the terminal, Safety infrastructure such as runways, communication aids, navigation aids, air feed lights, aircraft evacuation equipment, among others, are poorly maintained, increasingly threatening air safety. With some runway incursions in the past few months, there are safety concerns, but the Director General of NCA says there are no issues with the runways, even though the MD of FAN disagrees. The runways are okay. If the runway is wet, it's wet. They expect there, is, uh, there are procedures pilots to come a pilot. The procedures, you must follow such procedures. Look at our runways across the country. There's quite a bit of work that has to be done. We've been putting palliative measures in place, um, obviously, as we go through recertification. But the Honorable Minister, um, as well as my administration and my management team, have said that we need to put an immediate stop to not just all of the palliative measures. Um, there's a priority assessment that is going on. Um, we're looking at major upgrades and overhaul. Um, at the airport, so Kanu Airport, we're looking at Potakot, and we're looking at Benin, Akure, a lot of those airports where, you know, they've been around for 25, 30 years, where they need to have uh, apron expansion at, at Kanu, for example, that is becoming our priority. The DG Nigeria Safety Investigation Bureau, NSIB, at a press briefing a few weeks ago, also admits that the runways need maintenance. Our runways do need continuous maintenance, and uh, as evidenced uh, by the fact that some runways might not have lighting, at certain times or you know just functioning navigates and I know the National Aerospace Management Agency and the Federal Airport Authority are on that I know there is a, a fund an intervention fund from the federal government for the Ministry of Aviation this year I think uh, those runways will get uh, more uh, care or more upgrades this year if urgent steps are not taken airlines could stop flying into the country because the assessment and audit do not meet acceptable standard to fly into the airport Though in my conversation with the MD of FAN, she says plans are on the way to repair, restructure and realign the airport across the country. There's a major overhaul that needs to be done on MMIA. MMIA is over 40 years old. It was modeled after the Schiphol Airport. Um, the terminal expansion that should have been in place um, did not go according to the master plan and we need to correct most of those. And I do want to say that we're also taking a look at a lot of the contracts that have been awarded. Um, we will be cancelling some of those contracts, obviously following the law and the due process where the contractors have abandoned the works because it's making us look bad um, as a nation but also as an agency. The ripple effect of having poor safety infrastructure is that the airspace will be downgraded and classified as unsafe by world bodies, such as the International Air Transport Association, International Civil Aviation Organization, and pilot associations around the globe. For every Nigerian who has traveled far and wide, they know that we still have a long way to go when it comes to infrastructure. 
it is the hope of every citizen that even our airports can compete with the rest of the world and we can have safe, secured and enhanced facilities. Ayomidia J with TVC News, Lagos.